Nigerians have been urged to share love and reach out to the vulnerable children in this season of Christmas. This advice was given at a celebration for vulnerable children at a school in Ayarami, Bariga Axis of Lagos. The children, mostly orphaned, vulnerable and mentally challenged, had their dilapidated one-room class transformed with Santa Claus in attendance. Details in this report. Christmas is a time for sharing and showing love and affection, and it is no surprise when the children of Eagle's Wings, a school meant for orphans, vulnerable and mentally challenged, were showered with love and gift associated with the celebration. The wear and tear and shabby environment of the school, housing a hall which serves as a classroom, was transformed to the joy and happiness of the excited children who were having fun. The school administrator was filled with gratitude as she appreciates and solicits support for the school and the children. I was on my way going for an only home visit to check on the children. Suddenly, I just passed a street. Then a little girl threw water on my body. As a caregiver, I cannot shout. I just I just see that the little girl ran inside. So I have to fall. I have I trace that girl inside. Where, I look at where they are uh, living. Uh, it is nothing to write about. I said, so people are living in a community like this. Let me say, the time I know, nobody. No, no way to find myself. No money to put them for school. Since 2018, I lost my wife. That thing out with me, with the family. There's a one sister that came to teach them Bible study. I then gave me the direction, put them, them to this school. They made them fine. I'm very happy what I take my eyes see today. According to the organizers, reaching out to the vulnerable children through assistance in their education is a matter of urgency as they can fast help for not just the school but for the peoples preparing for secondary school education. I'm seeing the children in a condition that I've never seen them before today. They are happy, they're excited, they look vibrant, they look so bright. And I know that this is the kind of life that they deserve, a life of happiness and joy. And I know that we have a long way to go because, I mean, in the class today, we have covered up all the, you know, the walls. You, you, you can see that there's no ventilation. A lot of things have been covered up in the core. Some of the pupils expressed their gratitude as they mentioned their future ambitions. What they come and do for all that? For the thing that they bring, bring for us, we are going to bless them more. Bring, 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 bring. Mama, you go make it pray for me. This life will not tire me. This life will not suffer me. I don't want to suffer. All oh. my prayer be say, I don't they pray. Anything where you say it might be, I go so see what I define. Go help me for this life. Oh. I don't they pray. Because I want to do common entrance with them to go to secondary school. You know, the school I'm going before, there was a problem with the school, everybody's scattered. That is why I'm going to join them to do common entrance. I want to read my education. Education is the best. I want to finish my education. While Christmas may be a time for sharing love and affections, many say it is a time to show care as the economic crunch and insecurity have worsened the condition of living of Nigerians, forcing many families into a state of vulnerability with no hope in the horizon. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.